It's not opening. Fuck. Ooh. Hi guys, it's Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. I hope you get to stick around and join the Maggi family. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new NARS Complete Foundation. Everybody and their mother have basically tried this out apart from me. I know I'm late, but I'm here. <laughs> so I have oily skin and I love a matte finish foundation, but also I'm a fan of NARS. So if you have oily skin like me and want to see what the end results will look like, then continue watching. But before before we go ahead please help me subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell below that way you would be notified each time I upload. To prime my skin today I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Fine Primer. Even though the foundation I'm going to be trying today is a matte finish, I also like to go ahead and use a matte primer because my skin gets oily really quickly. So I need me a strong primer that's going to hold my oils in place. So I'm just spreading the primer out. Before we go ahead and apply our foundation, the time right now is 2.44. In this video, I'm not going to be doing eight hour wear test. I'll probably do like a four, but if you guys wanna see an eight hour test, then I'm happy to do another tutorial where I have the foundation on for more than eight hours. So this is what the foundation looks like. The shade I have is Namibia, which is deep four. I really like the packaging of the foundation. The bottle is matte, so which is really good. If it has a nice feel to it. So before we go ahead, we're just gonna shake it. It says to shake it, so you need to shake it really well. That way everything mixes together. So I've kind of got one pump. I'm gonna use a brush. We're applying it on half of the face. Yes, it said that is a matte foundation, but sometimes you purchase matte foundation and it's nowhere near matte foundation. But this one is actually matte. I can like the way my skin, my skin just looks smooth. And I feel like it has a bit of a red tone to it. My skin is a bit more neutral, but let's see. We're gonna apply it on the other side. Like the coverage, mm, mm, mm. I'm not gonna do too much under my eyes because we're gonna go ahead and use the complete um, concealer. When I'm applying it on my forehead, it's kind of drying up really quickly. So I'm just really trying to work the product first so that way it doesn't dry. Apart from looking a little bit red right now, the foundation is actually good. Like the coverage is good, like good coverage. It's got superb coverage. Like my skin is looking so flawless guys, especially on camera, on the viewfinder, it just looks so smooth. So this is what the foundation is looking like. Like I said, my skin is looking flawless. Like I can't even see on even skin tone. It's all covered. My skin is looking all even. So usually I have dark pigmentations around my cheeks, but I cannot see one thing. I cannot see anything at all. That's how matte this foundation is and that's how good of a coverage the foundation is as well. And to me, it doesn't feel like matte matte, so that's a good feeling because sometimes you can wear a matte foundation and your skin feels so tight, but my skin feels normal. I can smile, I can turn, I can look without it feeling so tight, so that is good. I mean, the color doesn't even look that bad. Once I apply concealer and stuff like that, it's gonna balance. Like, my skin can still go ahead and wear like red undertones and stuff, but it just prefers a little bit more neutral. And now we're gonna go ahead and try the concealer. So this is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I've got the shade in Walnut, which is a medium dark 2.6. That's what it looks like. I'm struggling to open this. <laughs> Why is it so hard? It's not opening. Fuck. Ugh. Why is it so tight? Oh my god. Am I gonna have no concealer? Is it not gonna open? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a struggle, guys. Ow. Why was it so tight? God damn. This is what the concealer looks like. Again, I'm excited to try it because it looks so smooth on the lady that sold it to me. She had it on and boy. 
it looks smoothed so I'm excited and I'm gonna try it now so I'm not sure how I feel about the packaging like I really don't like <sighs> I just really, it's not I don't like pot concealers but I find it so hard to actually because I don't want to be using my fingers each time I have to apply it because then that's not good and also using a brush like dipping back and forward into it is also not good because I do have like a MAC one which is also a pot but like I said I just prefer concealers that are more like you know this that got the one to it which is very easy to apply that's the only thing but apart from that let's see if it actually works i'm gonna apply it on one side using my finger and then on the other side i'm going to use a brush so i'm just kind of dipping my finger in here to take some of the products and then i'm gonna apply it underneath my eye i'm going to use a compact mirror for this so i can see what i'm doing up close so i'm just using my ring finger and i'm just dabbing it Oh, the color doesn't look bad. I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter, but thank God it's not. So I'm just applying a little bit more because I like a lot of concealer. We're going to use a brush on the other side and I'm going to see the difference because I really don't like applying makeup with my fingers. I don't know if that's just me. It's nothing personal. It's just, it's just me. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush and I'm just going to dip it in there. So I'm applying it very gently because if I add too much pressure, I feel like it's going to disturb the foundation. So the concealer is actually good. It's not bad. But the only thing is that when it comes to pot concealers, they tend to be a little bit too thick and a little bit too full. And it can be a little bit cakey underneath the eyes if you're not careful. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go in with a bit more concealer just to apply some on the areas where I normally conceal. So a little bit on my chin. On my forehead. So this is what both the foundation and the concealer looks like together. Now we're going to go ahead and set this. I'm oily like I said and I need to set my face no matter what type of coverage I use whether it's super super matte or extra matte or whatever matte I still need to go ahead and set my face and for this I'm going to use my Huda Beauty in Konafa. I hope I said it right if not forgive me. So I'm just applying this setting powder where I've just concealed and also where my face tends to get oily. Because I'm just testing out the foundation and the concealer, usually I'll come off camera and then do the rest of my face and then come back later and then show you guys the final results. But I'm just gonna let the camera run and do the rest of my face on camera, but I'm gonna speed it up. So I won't really be talking in it unless if I feel like I have something important I need to say or if I feel like I need to show you guys a certain way to apply something. So yeah. <laughs>
Hey guys, so this is the end result of what both the foundation and the concealer looks like together. As you guys saw me, I went ahead and I did a bit of contouring and I also applied some eyeshadow with lashes and I finished off with some lip gloss. So now I'm gonna wait. Um, time right now is four o'clock. So in three hours, I'll be back on camera so you guys can see if my oils have peeked through or if the foundation still looks the same. So I'll see you guys within three hours. Later that same evening. Hey guys. So it's been like four hours. The time is 8.24 and so far this is what it looks like. So my skin is pretty, pretty oily. I don't know if it's the oils or if it's supposed to be a natural glow or whatever. But right now I'm looking oily. Usually I get oily around my eyebrows and also around my cheek area and my mouth area. And like I said, my skin is really looking shiny. So... But yeah, so the foundation is retailing for £28 and the concealer, I believe, is £24. To me, I think both of them are affordable. you got foundations from other brands that are like £34. So £28, I think, is pretty reasonable. And for it, you're getting a good amount as well. It is about 1.5 ounce, so which is really good. Um, like I said, I like matte foundation and I really, really like the foundation. I like the coverage. I love the way it feels. It's lightweight. Even though it's a matte finish and even though it's a full coverage the weight of it is very very light it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that but with the concealer I'm 50 50 I'm not sure if I really like the concealer I think if you're not careful it can be very cakey underneath the eyes and like I mentioned in the video I'm more of a liquid type of girl I prefer my concealers to be in the liquid form but I think I'm going to give it another go and see what I think of it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any other video suggestion for me to do let me know in the comment section below before you go make sure to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you do not miss any of my uploads thank you so much and i'll see you guys soon bye